We've got Jen here asking, what's it like hearing a million girls shouting your name and saying I love you? Does it ever get annoying? Um, no, it doesn't get annoying. I mean, uh, I like all the support that I've been getting. All my fans have been, you know, incredible. And uh, I've just been having, you know, a great time with it. Nice. Um, there was a lot of girls screaming outside earlier, I just heard. Yeah. How many were there? Um, I don't know. I didn't count. No? You didn't sort of check them all out and score them? One nah. to ten? <laughs> um, well, China Ann, there's a good question on the blog here. She asks, your style is very pop, but you were all about R&B when you started out. Why did you decide to change your style for the album? Of course, the album My World, which is out next week. Yes, um, my, world, uh, my World's in the UK comes out um, on Monday. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, but no, I, I mean, I didn't change my style. I'm still, you know, um, like pop R&B. It's always yeah. been, you know, what I, what I liked. If you were going to deviate from uh, from that to any other style of music, which do you think it would be? If you if you were forced to pick another style of music, I don't know. I would never be forced to. Uh, oh, that's a good answer. I like that. Yeah. Man who sticks to his guns. Um, he hasn't brought any guns with him. Though, no, I didn't. I'm not strapped. No. Um, Jody asks, uh, what's the worst experience you've had whilst being famous? That's Jody. The worst experience I've had. I mean, I don't really have bad experiences. They've been pretty good. Um, you know, the time in, in Long Island where I didn't get to, you know, hang out with my fans, I was supposed to go there for a signing and things got too crazy. They shut down the, the mall, so that was pretty oh, no. disappointing. Um, I saw you tweet out earlier today about fans bouncing off your car. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of fans hitting the windows and stuff. Don't go bouncing off his car. No. Nah. Um, could get quite hurt. Could damage the car. Could damage yourself. He could be liable for that. Don't want that. Could mess up your insurance uh, history. Yeah, I wouldn't your be premium liable. Up. Yeah. Um, uh, Ebony asks, would you ever date a fan if you got to know them? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's whatever the situation is. If 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 that happens, then you know it happens. But you know, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna force it. No. You know what, the most popular question on the blog by far was absolutely, would you take the time to get to know a fan? Yeah. Which is a strangely specific question, but I think a lot of people were wondering, uh, amongst the sort of masses of girls, um, would it put you off if someone approached you and you knew they were a fan of yours? Would it sort of put you off having any sort of relationship with them? Would it be a bit weird? Or um, I mean, I'm not gonna, I, I don't, I'm, I, I'm not gonna date a girl that's gonna be like, Oh my gosh, Justin, oh my gosh, Justin. Yeah. Like, that's just not, I'm not Asking for your autograph every yeah. night when you get home. Yeah. That'd be a bit weird. Um, we've got Rob, Rob on the blog. Um, he says, what inspires you as a musician? What inspires me? Um, you know, like, my fans inspire me as well as like, you know, just my mom inspires me and like, my dad and, and you know, God inspires me. But like, I'm a, like, I've, I've looked up to a lot of, like, musicians as well, like Michael Jackson and Boyz II Men and people like that. Uh, and who have you met that you, you know, of those people who inspire you, have you met a lot of them? Yeah, or? I met Boyz II Men. I met, wow. I met, um, I didn't get to meet Michael Jackson, but, um, uh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, Rebecca, this is a question from Rebecca on the blog. How many girlfriends have you had, and who is your best friend? Um, how many girlfriends have I had? I've had like, like three. Three, three girlfriends. And Are you um, a long-term kind of guy? Um, I mean, I can be. Just depends. <laughs> and who is your best friend? My best friend. I have two. Uh, Ryan and Chaz. And you know, I. Julian is one of my other best friends. Cool. So you, I guess you're with certainly Ryan a lot of the time on tour and on promo tours and stuff. Yeah. That's great. Really good. Um, do you? Do oh, you it's not him, by the way. Oh, it's not right. I was so he, sorry. He's a, he's a good friend of mine, but uh, I wouldn't <laughs> consider him a best. <laughs> do you ever bring any of your best friends out on tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that was what you were talking about. Um, yeah, right. But my my friend Ryan Butler, he's uh he travels with me. He was in in New York the other day, um, with me, and uh, but yeah, shout out to my boy Ryan. What's up, Ryan? What's up? Um, this is um, this is Jen. Uh, a question on the blog: Do some negative comments people have 
towards you tend to get under your skin? Um, not, no, not at all. It I bounces just, off you a bit. Yeah. What's the, uh, I mean, do, do any comments, what's it like when uh, the press talk about you? I mean, how do you feel about that, whether it's good or bad? Mm. How does it sort of strike you? It's, um, it's cool. I mean, any, you know, I'm glad to just be, be on in the press and have, you know, that attention. Yeah. So it's, it's good. Can't grumble. Any, uh, all publicity is good publicity, you say? I mean, how do you feel about that? I don't, no. I don't necessarily think that's true, but like, I think that publicity is, is good. Like, yeah, I mean, uh, it's also a lot of people say it's there's no, uh, nothing worse than being not talked about at all as well. You know. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Demi asks, "Will you ever do a tour around the UK?" We've already had that one. Yeah. But the answer is very soon, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, Liz, hello, Liz. Uh, Liz is asking, "What is a typical day when you're not on tour for Justin Bieber?" A typical day is, you know, I don't know, I don't really have a typical day, you know, usually um, it's, it's all different, whether we're like on promo tour, whether we're like waking up early to do radio or, yeah. or like photo shoots, so everything is different, it doesn't, you know, I don't have a typical day. Um, a lot of people ask about whether you sort of miss the life you had before you were famous. Yeah. And what do you miss about it? Oh, oh I'm tired. Sleep? Um, yeah. Lying um, in bed till 12 noon. Yeah, I definitely like miss teenagers. that. I miss that. But, you know, I, I miss, like, just being able to hang out with my friends and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't get to hang out with them as much as, you know, I'd like to. But Do you, have, do you ever think maybe...